following video is repair of a weak left channel on the Midland Model 19 548 receiver. Well, here's the initial test before repair of the Midland. I've got an oscilloscope monitoring the speaker outputs with those 10 ohm dummy loads installed. My left channel is up here on channel 1, the right is on channel 2, the left channel is the channel that's weak. So we have our balance straight up, treble and bass straight up, bring up the volume. You can see the right channel is alive, but the left channel isn't doing much. Now if I were to decrease the sensitivity on the left channel, you can see it does increase in amplitude slightly, but there's also a little bit of AC type wavering of that signal, which is kind of strange. So, now you've seen what it's doing, let's get underneath of this thing and see if we can find what's causing it. Alright, let's take a little guided tour of the Midland. This is model number 19-548. I scoured the internet, tried many sites, but cannot find any technical information on this little receiver. Here is the amplifier board. Right channel's over here, left channel's here. You can see a few stages of the old germanium transistors doing their job. Nothing on this board has been touched. I don't see any signs that this thing's ever been worked on. And they have some transformer coupling. You can see the driver transistors. And that drives these Sanyos, which are 2SB474s. Like I say, everything appears stock. So I suspect we've either got some dried up coupling caps and hopefully not a bad transistor because they are tough to find. Here's the equipment that's necessary for signal tracing and finding the weak channel on the Midland. You're going to need an oscilloscope, audio generator, and I have two 10 ohm resistors strapped across the speaker outputs acting as dummy loads because I really don't want to have speakers in here and listen to that tone while we're trying to find the problem. All right, it's kind of tight working in here. I'll try to show you guys the best I can what's going on. This is the balance control. So you should have a signal on this arm of it and this arm, okay? So I'm going to go over the scope. Here is the right channel coming into the balance control. Here is the left channel. You can see there's absolutely nothing. So the signal is not getting to the balance control. So if we work our way backwards, I know that the balance control comes up through this tone circuit. Let me sweep up there. Comes up through this little tone circuit and then makes its way over to the input selector switch. So my fault is somewhere between the balance control and the input selector switch. So I'm going to follow the wires and go here on the circuit board and see if I can find the left and right channels. Alright, luckily they stuck with blue and brown for their color codes of these channels. So right here, I'm looking at one channel. You can see it on the scope. I'm go over to the other. They are both present coming off of the input selector switch. So now we'll, di we'll dive down to this part of the board, which is another section, and check for the presence of signal again. We're going to do the blue and brown, right? So back over to the scope. There's the blue, and there's the brown. I have signal making it to this point on the board, which is getting really close to the balance and volume controls. So I'm guessing that we're losing the signal right in this area. Let's zoom in. Alright, so if we look here, the brown wire being the right channel, see I have signal there, but if I go over here, which I checked top side, there's a little coupling cap there, I've got signal again, right? Now let's go over to the blue wire. So I'm touching the blue wire. 
no signal. But if I go through that coupling cap, which looks like it's coming off of one of the transistors, I've got a signal. So what I'm going to do is take a cap and I'm going to hold it in parallel across these two pads and see if we get our signal back on the scope. Okay, here we go. What I'm going to do is take this one microfarad bipolar cap I'm going to touch it across those two pads. So currently on the scope we have a very weak signal. Now I'm going to touch the cap across and looky there. If I can hold it on there. Got a very healthy signal. I'm monitoring that right on the left speaker jack output. So yeah, we've got ourselves an open coupling cap on the board. I'm going to change that out and then we'll check both channels. All right, there's a new cap installed. I haven't clipped the lead yet, but I'm monitoring the left channel of the speaker output. There it is in the scope. Go up here to the right. We've got equal output pretty much on both channels. But of course, the best thing to do at this point when you know that you've got coupling caps that are failing, all those caps are going to fail. So the best plan of attack would be to recap the amp. Alright, here's the Midland playing. Hey, I'm stopping to download Upside and fill up my tank. Here's download left the channel. free Upside app now to earn cash back every right time channel. you buy gas. Use promo code DASH to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, to PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just all new Nissan Aria is a fully loaded EV. It's brimming with style mm. and power. Up to 300. I can only play you commercials because if I play you any music, I'll get copyrighted. But the receiver's working well. Your very plush seat. The all new, all electric Nissan Aria. E-Force cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. E-Force and 389 horsepower available. Mission accomplished.